Well, an impromptu uh, speech to the camera, uh, a report to the academy. Uh, what would we else could we call it? It just seems to happen out of thin air. I suddenly get something in my mind that feels like doing it. Um, it could also be seen as talking by oneself in one's room to a camera alone. It could also be seen as complete madness, of course. But I suppose in the knowledge that I will uh, replicate this thing onto the internet, the newfangled invention of the internet, which is surely useful sometimes. Um, so I can put this on the internet and then other people might view it, although I can't force them, unfortunately. <laughs> no, fortunately. Um, yeah, so that's an interesting concept in itself. Um, I was just thinking, uh, it's a beautiful spring day here. Spring is springing, springing. Well, that's going to get cold again in a day or two, but we're having a couple of days of, of uh, relatively warm weather here in the north of the Netherlands. Uh, cloggy land, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a nice bike ride. Um, I don't. I, I went through a long phase where I, where I didn't want to ride. And I was just not enjoying it, especially in the very cold. For some reason, I was. It was not. I was finding it tough. Um, and uh, yeah, I stopped. And before that, actually, for nine months, I didn't have any inner tubes, so I didn't even have a bike to ride. I was walking to town sometimes to the bar when it was open, when I could go now and then. But of course now we're still living under the thumb of, <laughs> I don't know, I mean to me it's fascism. If you can't go to a bar, you can't. I mean, I, you still, I will still see today, if I ride now down to the south, which is very beautiful, of, the, of Groningen, and find a nice little spot in the sun, I decided I'll take a, take a, um, a thing that I bought for festivals when I went, which is, I can sit on, put some ten pegs in, and, um, I just plotted my route out, and I was actually found this funny little town, which I put on the Facebook now because, um, uh, called Deutstil, which I just thought was so funny because Dutch names are, are so descriptive often. They're very funnily they can be very amusingly descriptive. The people's names as well, <laughs> and place names. And this one is Deutstil, which is a tiny little village that's called Dead Quiet. So. They don't mess around when they're describing things. They're very accurate, yeah. <laughs> they're very logical, accurate sort of people. I'm still trying to understand the Dutch, and they're pretty still sure trying to understand me. I don't know, but I've been here eight years, and yeah, <laughs> it's just life. It's a place. It's a very, but a very busy merchant. The history here is very busy and very merchant seaman, and well, everyone knows the history, right? And they like to be busy. They have a saying, good basic, good busy, which I get that. I I used to uh, be much busier. I would like to get my system going again so I can make records and films again. It's been over a year, but I'm working on it. Let's just say I'm working on it. It's real. It's, it's what you call real life. We're supposed to have this uh, commodity called money, <laughs> apparently. I've been told that it helps obtaining things. I'm not sure, but I think that works. Um, <laughs> well, other ways of obtaining things, of course, like stealing, but I don't go. I don't go there. Uh, not that I'm holier than thou or anything like that. Um, but uh, I just, you know, yeah. What you? I want to be who I want to be. That's no one can take that away from me, and vice versa. Yeah, it's a funny world, but um, I've been mean, very lucky lately. This chap, um, Mark Atwood, who does videos, um, wonderful videos, I believe. And I think he's a really cool guy. He shared my two of my new songs on his uh, Telegram channel. And it actually got me a lot more traffic than I'm used to. It was, I mean, not an ego trip. But, uh, you know, I was going to say, I was thinking about, you know, there's so many, the, the world seems on tenterhooks right now, and maybe we're in the thralls of some very big changes. I mean, I think a lot of us on the, 
a good sign of praying for that. That, and when I say good, I don't mean that if you don't think like me, you're bad. I don't. I'm not implying that. I know many good people who think differently. But it's you. You can believe whatever you want to believe. I believe what I believe, and that's my right. And if you want to slag me off, as many have done, uh, call me crazy, whatever, then that's your right. You know, but. It's energy. It doesn't mean that I'll necessarily like you any better. <laughs> I mean, you might not want me to like you. And um, that's how it goes. And people, I've always been like that, even when I was a child. People either get me, like me, or that I rub them the wrong way. It's, it's um, I find it's quite quite often the case with me. But just this culture we created of celebrity which if you think about it, I just think it's so sick, crazy. Just, let's just take something like the Beatles or take something like... I mean, take what the work they do, and it's great work, and they're great artists, and they put that out, and that's a wonderful thing, and it's really beautiful. But it doesn't mean that we should, we need to behave like idiots next to them, or uh, um, I just don't get this. Put them on pedestals, or and I don't think that's what they would people want. I don't, I wouldn't want that. It's unnatural. It's unreal to be mobbed or to be. I mean, it's nice. It's lovely when someone says to you, "Hey, I really like the work you did." It's meaningful, and I really, I, I had some wonderful comments on the song Victory Day, which I did on the 11th of March, I, I put out. And then the next song I put out, the one I knew on, is a reggae song called Sweet Liberation from Babylon. And I discovered by accident that, um, that it was done 17 days afterwards, which is, for some of us in the... Um, truth the community or whatever you want to call it it's a significant number now they all know what that means 17 <laughs> but it's just a funny thing so yeah I, I noticed that I put the new one up 17 days later on the 28th and they just sort of pop out they come to me um, I mean I've been doing basically much more busy with my computer before I broke a year ago I was much more busy making these very chill out albums without vocals or anything and, and I'm still would like to record these new songs to a good level but I just can't do it so the best thing I can do right now is I mean lens a PC laptop which actually I have to return next week but I'm working on a plan but I'm able to upload videos with my camera still onto that and then put them on YouTube without editing them that's all I, I mean that's and that's that's why you're just getting the audio from my camera it's not great but it's good enough to convey I believe the song and hopefully, you know, a good demo. And maybe I, you know, I'm thinking, is there, a, <laughs> is there some white hat recording guy there who thinks there's something in me or would like me to, you know, because they would be much, much better if they're done with, done with uh, musicians, of course, you know. But in the meanwhile, I'm happy I wrote them and, I, and, and I'm proud of them. I think they're good songs. And I don't say that as an arrogant... I, I've written songs... I started writing songs when I was like 14 years old. And, um, you know, it's, but it's, it's sort of something that's been with me, but I don't think it's been my natural... I've never taken my own songwriting particularly seriously. I, I think I'm a much better composer of music, but that's a very hard thing to break into. But, um, and that's what I studied in the 80s in California. But, um, you know, composing. But um, now suddenly, with these new developments in the world, and it's like I feel like I'm 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 the protest songwriter suddenly or something. It's almost like there's a new protest movement coming up. People are waking up from the from the matrix programming. I don't know how else to put it. You know, I'm doing your own research, but you know, whatever it's out there is out there. And 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 you know, I. I was a normie, or whatever you call it. I used to read a paper or two a day, and I didn't question it that much. And the first thing that happened was 9-11, when I noticed that everyone was saying the same things on 9-11. Every ma major media outlet was printing the same story. I was like, OK, come on, man. This is, <laughs> you know, I just smelled a giant rat. And then um, I, I got a book out of the library, which was quite strange. I don't think that book would be allowed in the library. Though. I don't know if that was a fluke, but it was a book by David Icke, and that was about 2004, I think, or three. And I read the book, The Biggest Secret, and it, I don't know, I just, you know, I mean, you don't, I don't believe anything I read necessarily, but what I really realized after the end of the book was that it explained the way the world is better than anything I had read to that point. You know, it was compelling just the fact that it and and then I started looking at testimony of other people who apparently are real people making a real testimony 
of the experience and weird situations on this underground. And, and I just don't understand what, what's in it for them to lie about us. They're not getting money out of it. They're not, you know, they're not. I saw too many instances of that, not to be convinced that there was something that was being withheld from by the mainstream. And then I started putting the pieces together and realized that the mainstream media is really, when you go back to the control of it from the very top, there might be good people working in it. I mean, that's how they do everything. They compartmentalize. That's the, that's everything is compound. That's why uh, there are good people in working at the bottom to, to have no idea that the guys at the very top, what their true nature is, uh, what they're being used for. So um, just like in the police or anything, you know, and you get good, you know, good cops and <laughs> whatever, you know, uh, bad cops. I, I thought that'd be a nice, uh, although funny enough, the last year, uh, my whole, I've had a very, Real personal liberation where about sex, about the whole thing of having to be with a partner. And all, I've let that all go. It's, I mean, like, it, it's really helped me. I really, really uh, got peace from that and just released that. It's nonsense. It's cultural nonsense. And if, it, if, if you find someone the way it works and it works, great. But if otherwise, you know, you can be very good without it. <laughs> you, you know, better than with having it when it's not working, is what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, where was I? I lost my train of thought. Doesn't matter. I mean, this is just a spontaneous conversation. But uh, you know, I'm uh, I feel positive. I just hope there's not too much uh, carnage. I hope there's not too much, you know, flack. But uh, it, you know, no one who the mainstream is just presenting a surface <laughs> thing, and I can't believe the intelligent people who really think they're getting a good picture from that. I just. And it's so blatantly propagandized and, uh, to, control, uh, to feed the narrative a certain way, to push a certain agenda, the globalist agenda. I mean, it, it couldn't be more blatant at this point with the censorship on Facebook and everything. And, you know, but yeah, I, I, I was doing before these, this music that's got no, no words in it. But, you know, suddenly this feeling, this energy and all these amazing people that I've come to know, I, I feel like they're my friends. I watch on... YouTube and BitChute, you know, and I, when I dedicated my song Victory Day, they're, I, they're all listed there, so, you know, but they're, I'm amazed by all these people who come out of the woodwork, because it's almost like they've been, it's because of this awakening and the situation and the things that are being forced and, you know, the whole thing, that there's this thing happening, this flow, so suddenly I've, I've lost a lot of old friends who just obviously just thought I'm cuckoo or whatever. And and but gained all these new friends and with this more the same idea of how things are going in the world and such and such. So it's been an amazing discovery. So thank you all. I love you all very much and uh, have a great day.